Okay, our art lesson today is going to be um, really surrounded around some materials that are maybe you might think are non-traditional for drawing or creating art and, um, and an artist that I really like. So the material that I'm gonna start with today is called charcoal. You can buy charcoal, um, but I am going like totally natural with this project and going with the oldest drawing tool that I know, um, and that would be actual burnt wood charcoal. This came from our fire pit that we like to use outside. So just start collecting that. You can put it in a Ziploc bag and it'll save for a bit. But I'm going to be showing you how to draw with this. Um, inspired by an artist named Albrecht Durer, and he is a famous German artist, and I'm gonna be showing you some of his work in just a little bit, but um, he was just really known for his detail and with printmaking, drawing, and painting. So I wanna demonstrate that first with drawing today, and I already have some pieces that I broke up and put into a little, um, this is a cinnamon roll icing um, container that I saved. So, this is charcoal, and you can break it. It's burnt wood. Oldest drawing tool right here. And I'm going to show you how to draw a rabbit. Since Easter is this weekend and um, spring is in the air, I wanted to show you how to draw that. Now, if you don't have access to charcoal, you can obviously do this with a pencil um, and get near the same results. So to draw my rabbit, I'm going to start in the center of my page and I'm going to um, place his head here near the center um, because I want to be able to include his little body down here um, in some grass. So I'm gonna start with kind of a ghost drawing here of a U, a big U. And I want my fist to be able to fit in here. So I'm gonna be drawing pretty big um, with this U, and I'm going to sketch that. Just drop it down and get your U. This is going to be the start of our head of our rabbit. Um, then for the little nose area, I'm going to use a little small letter V, a letter V. And you can notice the, the texture of this charcoal really doesn't make a clean line, which is the beauty of it, and it makes it really, really pretty. So you, you just have to loosen up and, and know that it's gonna smear and it's not gonna be a single line, but just play around with it and experiment with it. Then the little mouth area comes down, and I'm just sketching right in here. Now, the two eyes are gonna be pretty far apart. Um, kind of the tips of the V might be pointing to them. So I'm gonna make a little dot right here and then a dot here. And I'd like to make those bigger. So I'm just gonna start scumbling and pressing down a little bit harder with my charcoal. You can even take a pinky finger and kind of smear that in and get it nice and dark. Tap, you can make textures with your fingers. I mean, your hands are your best drawing tools right here. I've got it all over me, it's just great. But um, with Albert Durer, one of his um, pieces was called, was called the hare, which is rabbit. And he was just, they were so impressed with his attention to detail and the direction of the fur. And he actually created it with um, watercolor, which I'll show you in just a little bit. But notice how I'm just making some little dashes to show the texture of fur. And I'm going along the line of the U that I've already made. And I'm staying in the direction that I think that the fur would be laying. Then you can take your finger and just kind of smear that in the direction of your lines to make it even more textured. And then just keep adding in um, and right in here along the bridge of the nose, just some little dashes. And with charcoal, you'll find out you don't really have to press down hard to make it um, show up. Okay, now let's, let's add in the ears. Now, I don't have a lot of space at the top of my page. I can have them go off the top if I want them standing straight up, 
or I could have them go off and then come back on would be kind of cool. Um, and let's see, I'm going to start by, I want the center of my ears to be about right here. So I'm going to note that with a little dot. And then I'm going to take a line up. And then I am going to have mine come back onto the page. So now I know the other side of my ear is going to line up right in here to the edge of the face. And then kind of come to a point. And then the other one, I'm going to have it come up. And... I'm going to have it go like this and then really bend back down and come back onto the page. Um, and you might see the center of the ear that you could show. And again, showing the texture with the direction of your charcoal, the little dashes that you're making. Dash is a short, short line. You're just pinching that charcoal with your finger. And then come back and it makes little scumbles, little bits that are gonna break off. And my students are usually like, they don't understand why we use such small pieces, but a, I mean, a small piece, it really works really nice for getting in small areas too. It's rare that you get a long piece of charcoal because it wears down pretty quick too. So he's looking nice and, and furry to me with the texture. I'm gonna make my eyes a little bit bigger and show maybe a little glare by including some of that white paper. There goes a little chunk. Put that in there. Let me get this darker too, like under his nose. Okay, and then I'm, I'm gonna add his whiskers. Just quick, really fast lines. Really fast. Now, to place his body on here, I'm going to, he's going to be, his little hip area is going to go out this way, and then he's going to be turned and looking at us. So I'm going to start with about right in here on his cheek, and I'm just going to make a quick curve over and down. Okay, and then for this side of his body, it's going to be kind of his front leg. So I'm just going to go straight down. Now for his hip, like his really his back, back hip, I'm gonna make a curve out and over, just quick out and over. And you might see part of his foot and then maybe part of a foot there and then the line in between the two front um, legs there. And I can kind of show you where his tail might be, his fluffy cotton tail there. But now we need texture, we need value, the lights and darks to make it look more realistic. So I'm just gonna start by adding in those dashes going along the body line and the, the hip line, the leg, and the little foot in between here. And I know y'all really want to get started drawing. Um, and I have this on a super fast video that I'm going to be posting on with this so you can see start to finish real quick. Notice how I'm taking my finger, remember your best tools are your hands right here, and I'm letting it add some value just by smudging this charcoal in. Just doing some smudging. And I feel like under his um, neck area here, it needs to be darker to really push that area back. Okay, and then we need some texture in the tail. I'm not gonna be quite as dashy with that because I want it to be a little more fluffy than um, furry, I guess. Um, and you can just keep adding as much as you want. You can even suggest some grass that he's sitting in, just some quick lines, line direction. And I love it. I'm done. Love charcoal. I hope that you enjoy it too.
again, you can just get this right out of your fire pit or you can buy it. You can get it online and I've seen it here at some of the local um, stores. It's called Vine Charcoal and it works really great too.